Uh, I'm Sammy Kidd, and I'm with Mean Motor Scooter. Oh yeah, the boy is the boy's bad news. Don't trust him for a second, cause you always will lose. that a lot of times if, if people don't know who we are or if they don't know a lot of the influences or if they don't listen to a lot of just garage rock in general, they might find our music uh, confusing or they might be even offended or just not understand it. They might listen to my lyrics and think like, okay, this guy's got some problems or he's clearly got some issues, but I think like a lot of it is satire or a lot of it is me speaking from the point of view of someone who uh, is like nothing like me. I could be talking about experiences from a, like a character. It doesn't have to be like me, you know? And it, like it could be when you watch someone on a movie, you don't say, oh, that actor's a dick, but look what he did. It, it's his character. Deep down where it's locked away. Yeah, surf guitar. Um, I've always loved surf guitar. I've always loved um, a lot of like surf riffs and things like that. But I didn't really understand the culture or where these bands came from. I mean, I understood it probably came out of California, but other than that, I really didn't understand it. So when I started kind of diving into modern day surf music and uh, their influences, I kind of found it all went back to the Orange County. And so that's when I got into Burger Records and stuff like that. But I just love the sound of uh, a clean tone, but with that reverb and that, it almost sounds bad, but it sounds good. Um, it's just so, I don't know. Every time I'm listening to it with my wife, she tells me to turn it off. It's giving her a panic attack. But I, I don't know, it's just always, I don't know, something about, that screeching and uh, the noise of it. I guess I've always liked the idea of being a singer or the front man of a band because I just like the attention and I like, you know, being able to just go wild, just go crazy, and uh, people kind of like, when, when, when people take that in and when people see that, they're like, fuck, they're like, fuck yeah, I really like that, or that gets me off, you know, and then it's just kind of like a back and forth, like we do it to get other people off, and then in turn, that gets us off. I think from like a really young age, I always knew I wasn't gonna have like a normal job or like do, you know, the kind of things you would go to school for. I kind of felt like I had something to do that would be more, something that I like to do, a little more personal. I, I didn't want to do, um, I didn't want to like be a 
a salesman or like a doctor or anything like that. So kind of knew right off the bat that I was probably going to do something with art. But um, when I got to be like 15, I got my first guitar and uh, I started watching a lot of like Nirvana, like a lot of live Nirvana videos that we would download on the computer. And I guess over like a few months, I, I was like, man, I got to start a band. I, re like, I, I, I don't know, I saw him on stage and I saw all those musicians, you know, just screaming and breaking their equipment and, you know, just releasing all this uh, pent up emotion and, you know, that was like their job and I just thought that's the coolest thing in the world. That's what I want to do. Yeah! Mm-hmm.